So we've got to look after the ozone because it protects us against all those things. But as we said, there is a hole um, that has appeared. Um, and the reason why is because ozone is being attacked by free radicals, which you come across in your organic chemistry. And they are radicals. Um, so we can say ozone is broken down by free radicals. And they come from CFCs, which are chloro fluorocarbons. But also they come from um, TFCs. And also now this is it. I'm just going to call NOx. These are nitrogen oxides. Anybody know where these guys come from? Uh, yeah, the, but they come, there is actually a natural source, they come from thunderstorms. Because when you have nitrogen oxygen in the air, you have lightning go through it, it actually combines the NO together to give you nitrogen oxide. Uh, so it comes from thunderstorms, but also aircraft. Um, thunderstorm. Obviously, aircraft is really bad because they're actually flying. So how does it work? Well, if I do it for chlorofluorocarbons, first of all, so CFCs, when they reach the upper atmosphere, they get broken down. to produce Cl dot radicals. That makes sense here yeah, from the organic chemistry. That you, you've talked about free radical substitution reactions and it gets broken down. So you produce these guys. You've got them up in the atmosphere, they break down. Chloro is really stable, but up there they're gonna get broken down. So what do they do? Well, um, how does it work? Well, my chlorine free radical comes along and he meets my ozone molecule. Um, what is he going to do? Well, he comes along and he makes, he comes along and he grabs an oxygen from him to make ClO dot plus O2 gas. So what kind of step would this be? We have initiation, propagation, and termination. Propagation. Propagation, why? I, I have a radical here and I'm making another radical. Yeah. So that's step one. To get to step two, I have to use this guy. So CLO dot. He comes along and he meets an oxygen atom. And that, those two go, guys go off to give me oxygen gas, and I also produce Cl dot. So, wow, what have I done? I have reformed Cl dot, so it cycles through that. So, one chlorine free radical can destroy hundreds of ozone molecules because it just keeps cycling through which is why it's so dangerous, why it's so powerful at breaking down ozone. So overall, what's happening? If I write the overall equation, overall, can you see those guys cancel? Because I use it here and get there. These guys cancel because I create it here and use it. So overall, O3, is meeting O to give me 2 O2. So I break down ozone to produce oxygen gas. So the combination of that equation and that equation is that equation there. So I'm destroying ozone, which is bad. 
So we could do a similar thing for nitrogen oxide. To simplify, I'm just going to use NO. So what happens? NO dot meets ozone to produce NO2 dot plus O2. And then NO2 dot comes along to meet O to give me NO dot plus O2. So again, the same thing happens overall. Can you see? I use it there, but I recreate it there. So it is going to cycle through. This is this is created here, but used there. So overall, O3 plus O gives me 2O2. So again, I catalyze the breakdown of ozone. Bad. Okay. The equation for this and the equation for chlorine are the same. So you just need to replace. You can write a general one. Do you want me to just do a general one and then you can just replace everything here? So if I do a general equation, which is relatively easy, um, so if we say, if we say that R is equal to NO or Cl, doesn't matter. The way you do it is R dot comes along with ozone to make RO dot plus O2 and then RO dot plus O gives me R dot plus O2. So R is either NO or CL, whatever they give you. So sometimes they give you some random thing and say, well, how does this break down ozone? Just replace, if you've learned this one, can you see you just replace the CL, just put CL, 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 CL there. For NO, you just put NO, that becomes NO2, that's NO2, and that's NO. So you just replace that for that. So that's the main boy to learn. But, uh, and again, overall, they like you to write the overall equation, O3 plus O 